So should you record your Zoom meetings locally or to the cloud? Now I kind of covered this in my last video on how to record in Zoom, but I want to answer it specifically here. Firstly, cloud recording is only available on paid plans. So if you're on a free plan, you're not even going to have this option. But does it matter? Is it worth upgrading to a paid plan? Well, I reckon it depends really on what you're recording your videos for. If you're using Zoom to record videos for a course or for YouTube videos, then you're going to want to have it locally to be able to save it and edit it anyway. So there's not really a benefit in saving it in the cloud to pull it down to edit it. But if you're doing coaching calls with individuals or groups and you want to give them access to the recordings, then it's much easier to give them access to a cloud recording rather than you having it downloaded and then uploading it to Dropbox or Google Drive or somewhere else. Send them a link. I know because I used to do it and when I shifted across to a paid plan with cloud recording, it's tons easier. And actually, it's a much better experience for people watching those calls back. For example, I do group support calls. There might be 12 people on there. If I just download and then put up into a file somewhere the actual recording, they either get the grid view or they just get the active speaker. They don't see the chat and things going on. And sometimes I can be posting links in or the things that we're talking about on that chat that you really need to have seen the conversation going on. And what I've discovered is when I point them to the cloud recording, they can actually play that back with the chat at the side of them or a transcript. And what it started doing now is actually putting chapters in there that it's suggesting to again, just make it easier as an experience. So I'm getting a lot of good feedback from my customers that they like to watch those cloud recordings. And the process is that if you record into the cloud, end your meeting, a minute or two later, you'll have an email come through from Zoom saying, here's a link to your recording. And you can just forward that on or you can copy the shareable link and send it on to people. So even that side of it is easier. Oh, and I got to tell you as well, you can even trim that cloud recording. You can go into it if like me, you've got it set to automatically start and maybe you've gone in there five minutes early. Well, I can now in the recording when it's still in the cloud, I haven't had to pull it down to do it. I can just trim the start and start it at a certain point, the same at the other end. Uh, again, some really cool basic features that when you see it, you go, ah, that makes all the difference. So does that help you with your decision about whether or not you should be cloud or locally? The quality is going to be the same either way. It isn't actually being recorded locally. It's just that when you save it to a local file at the end of your meeting, it'll pull down that copy for you and save it on your computer. It's not like tools like Ecamm that are physically recording it on your local computer without needing to access the internet. And of course, there's the benefit of all of your recordings being safe up in the cloud. Should anything happen to your computer, you're not gonna lose anything because they're all up there in the cloud. Now, I haven't actually shown you how to record to either the computer or the cloud because that's the topic of that previous video that I just mentioned. So if you didn't watch that, why don't I just send you over to that now rather than repeating myself. There's also some great tips in that video. So I think you're gonna really enjoy it. I'll see you over there.